their coach actually um, about probably 10 years ago battled breast cancer and is currently um, undergoing treatments for that a second time around. So yeah, the girls definitely have a, a good reason to get involved. We also have a parent of, a, of one of our players that's currently um, undergoing chemo treatments. So it just seems like there's always a, a reason to, to keep going with it. To prepare for the Volley for the Cure, the girls, first of all, um, went to the community and asked for donations. Um, and they did that last year as well, so this is our second time through. Um, got a lot of community support that way. So it's really been a team effort, um, no matter what, how much time they've had on and off the floor. So I think this was a nice little bit of a sentimental end for them, but it was a nice way to end their, their career. Really happy to see all that pink in the stands from both schools. Um, it's nice to see the communities come together um, to support um, and, and work together. I hope it's a, mess, a good, strong memory for them that they helped make a difference. Um, throughout the week, this, the staff and faculty here at the school um, collected donations. We kind of passed an envelope around. So we used that money for the uh, entertainment at halftime. And um, out of all the losing tickets, we put them in a bag, drew one out, and then that person had the chance to pick an envelope. One had $10, $150, and one $100. So just kind of a, a fun little way to give that money back that the staff had collected. Maybe it's not the most comfortable thing to talk about, yet it's important and it's something that they should be doing. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of paint, it's good. We are doing it again next year, and we um, actually are uh, announced tonight we're going to do a Locks for Love challenge. Um, we're challenging anybody who would like to participate to grow their hair long. Um, and then next year at the event between games, we have a couple of uh, cosmetologists who have agreed to come in and we'll be chopping off ponytails. We'll be sending them to lots of love uh, that make wigs for children that are undergoing treatment.